Hey y'all! What's happening? Where we at? We are here, the Big Jesus Experience. Woo! BJE, y'all. We yes, are super, sir. super excited. It's Resurrection Weekend, and y'all could have been doing anything with your time. But you are here. Yes. With us. With us. Spending your precious time with us. We thank y'all so much. On behalf of our Bishop, Bishop Bailey, and our Dr. Marsha, they are our leaders of RDCI, Right Direction Church International, and on behalf of our very, very own, the greatest youth pastor yes, in sir. the world, Pastor yes. Chandler Bailey. Yes. yes and his awesome wife, Miss Audrea Bailey. We yes, thank y'all for tuning in to the Big Jesus Experience. So y'all, Check this out, man. This is like the first time we ever did this. So y'all stay tuned, it's gonna be fire. But this conference is led by the students, bro. Ooh, so you students. already know that's about to be fire. Mm -hmm. You got somebody teaching y'all, showing y'all certain things that's on your level, bro. Yes. That's fire. All right, guys, so check this out. This is the first time we ever did this. It's gonna be super fire. So this is the first time like we got students leading the sessions, bro. Yes. So it's like, for the students, by the students. FSBS. Like, that's fire, bro. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Y'all stay tuned. It's going to be dope. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Father, we bless your holy name. Come on, teenagers. Now, now I, I know that situations and circumstances are happening all around this world. But if you would just get in a place where you worship, the thing that the devil can never take from you is your worship. So I dare everyone, wherever you are, in your house or in your car, come on. Somebody worship. Yeah, yes. Come on, we bless you, Jesus. There is nobody like you. Yeah. was lifted high and on a cheek he died and his love never fails cause he was lifted high and on a cheek he But he was lifted higher And a heart and tree he turned And his love Never fails Anybody know that his love never fails? Come on! Hallelujah! Let's go!
Cause I lift my head to give you glory. I lift my head to give you praise. And I'll praise you, Lord. Just open your mouth all over this room. Come on. Fill the room. Fill the room with praise and worship. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on. I know, I know you teenagers, I know y'all are going through some situations and some circumstances. And it seems like life is wearing you down. Life is beating you up. But there is a God that serves, that sits high and he looks low. And he's going to provide for you. He's going to look out for you. And if you would just praise him. If you would just praise him. If you would just praise him. Yes. 
What's up, everybody? Jesus is the reason for the season, and it ain't Christmas, but it's about to be Resurrection Sunday. But you know how this youth ministry does. We would not enter into that Resurrection Sunday without celebrating God all week, and we call this the Big Jesus Experience, and you're tuned in now. Listen, my name is Chandler Bailey. I just happen to be the youth pastor of what I believe to be the greatest youth ministry in the entire world with the greatest team, the greatest youth workers, and the greatest students. But listen, I wanted to greet you to tell you that it's time for you to focus. What God's about to do right now through this experience, my prayer and our prayers is that it blesses you. It doesn't just bless you and empower you. So listen, you might be distracted. You might be multitasking right now. You might be like, oh, I'm going to do this and this. But I'm challenging you as a student or even a parent watching right now to make sure your student is paying attention. Our sessions aren't that long, but these are two strategic days where, we're, where God is utilizing young people to be a blessing to other young people. So young person, I want you to unfamiliarize yourself. You're one of our Right Direction teams. You might know one of these student leaders. I want you to unfamiliarize yourself with that young person. This is God speaking through them. And if you don't know us, guess what? You have the opportunity to grow and get to know us. So let's pray. Father, I just thank you for every parent, every youth worker, and every student right now who's watching right now. I pray, Father God, that they're blessed and they're empowered by what you want to say to them through the lives of student leaders. God, we did what you told us to do. Now we're praying, Lord God, that you'll do what they're desiring you to do, which is touch these young people, meet these young people, and meet these youth groups and youth departments like never before. I pray, Lord God, that they experience increase in information and impartation, and that they grow to know that you're true and you're rich to your word. Thank you that we're entering into the marvelous light, that that dark areas, that dark area in our life and those dark spaces in our life, we're leaving that behind and we're entering into something that's brighter, something that's better and something that's bigger for us. So I thank you for everybody who's watching. Thank you for everyone who's connected. Thank you for Epic Global. And I pray right now and I declare that they enter into the marvelous light in Jesus name. Amen. Happy Big Jesus Experience weekend. You know, today we're going to do a Would You Rather Food Edition. I'm going to be putting in some of my input because I can't let y'all have all the fun because, you know, I'm very opinionated. So the first one we have is Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's. Y'all go ahead and comment y'all stuff in the comment section. And I'll let you know if I agree. Um, so Chick-fil-A or Zaxby's, personally, I would pick Zaxby's. They just have more options. Their chicken sandwiches are better. I'm not arguing with nobody. Argue with yourself. Um, <laughs> And then we have barbecue slash cookout or seafood broil. If you know me, I'm allergic to seafood, I will die. So we're going to pick barbecue. I wanna know what y'all think. I know some of y'all like y'all crab legs and crawfish and potato mixture, whatever. Uh, so yeah, the next one we have is Chipotle or Moe's. Chipotle is um, dry, unseasoned. I will not be eating that. So I will be picking Moe's because number one, their queso is better and they don't have dry chicken. So go ahead and let me know how y'all feel about that one. Uh, next we have traditional wings or boneless wings. If you eat boneless wings, that is just chicken nuggets with sauce on them. We are a traditional wing family over here, okay? If Mr. Rashawn is seeing this, I know you agree with me. Okay, cool. Um, Y'all eat boneless wings. I, mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Um, so next we have hot Takis or hot Cheetos. Not the same thing. Let's go ahead and get that out. Not the same thing at all. Mm -mm, no. Um, I would put hot Cheetos probably because like the shape of Takis just disgust me. Like they look weird and I'm not with that. Like, mm -mm, no. Uh, also, pro tip, put sugar on y'all hot chips. I'm not arguing with nobody, just do it. Um, next we have our Lay's or wrap snacks. Okay, um, uh, y'all go ahead and tell me what y'all think about that cause uh, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not arguing with nobody about Lay's cause Lay, y'all mm, y'all have that, y'all can have that. All right, next one. Grilled cheese or PB and J. Um, if you pick peanut butter and jelly, I just like to know what exactly is wrong with you. Because here's the thing, I love all of you. God bless. However, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches over cheese, over cheese. Do you even know where peanut butter and jelly came from? 
write me a three page essay on that and then you can talk to me because you're picking that over a grilled cheese grilled cheeses are classic better but let me know what y'all think about that one okay so now we got french fries or tater tots this one we not mm -mm. okay go ahead answer that because i don't mm, no no thanks friends because i can't choose and i won't choose and i would not be made to choose um y'all go ahead and comment that down below we got pizza rolls or my all-time favorite if you don't get the authentic kind from the asian market i'm not talking to you ramen noodles if you know me i eat ramen noodles approximately three times a week so with that being said ramen noodles are superior but um pizza rolls are good too if you don't get the combination kind um let me know what y'all thinking about that one okay so the last one depends on our friendship ice cream or frozen yogurt here's the thing here's the thing <laughs> yeah. how how is this comparable you have frozen yogurt and then you have ice cream it's like frozen yogurt is a knockoff ice cream so if you choose frozen yogurt i'm automatically assuming that you just you got some type of weird beef with ice cream like what what are you, what, what, you, you oh. And why y'all added comment y'all favorite uh what's it called flavor i personally like strawberry somebody called me weird for that but fight them but yeah this was fun um learned a lot about you guys weird um so with that being said i wanted to thank y'all for tuning into this icebreaker y'all go ahead and enjoy these sessions love you see you next time So with our first session, we have Trevor Barter. He's really cool. He does our media stuff. He's real cool. He does, takes pictures. He's a producer. And he's just going to come here and tell y'all what that's like and how he does that with God. And, you know, learn something from him. Uh, my name is Trevor Varner. Uh, I am a me epic media, you know, media volunteer. Um, I, you know, I kind of set up cameras and I, you know, get make sure we got our angles correct, uh, correct and make sure everything, you know, looks great and stuff like that. Well, I'm always trying to, to make sure everyone who is, um, you know, who's viewing or watching the broadcast, uh, make sure they're experiencing what, you know, what you were to experience if you were actually here in the, um, in the uh, facility. Um, well, I mean, the backstory of this, I was just, I was at home and um, on my dad's laptop and I saw this red button at the top of the screen and I was like, what does this do? And I clicked, I, you know, I clicked it and I was like, oh, it's showing me. And then, um, you know, on and on, I was like, I need to, you know, I want to try and, you know, try and film myself or something like that. And then, uh, then after that, you know, I kind of got interested in, uh, I got interested in like when I, every time I go to church, I'll be like, yo, look at the screens. You know, they got, um, you know, they got passed on the screens and it looks so cool and stuff like that. And I was like, you know what? I want to try that for myself and kind of, you know, do it. I mean, people have social media, right? So you have social media, people love, you know, video images and all that kind of stuff. If you have great looking video, people, um, great looking video and audio as well, um, then I mean, people would engage with it, especially if 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 the person that's in the video or in the frame is very interesting. Oh, that kid too lit. I tend to kind of, you know, I'm in I'm in my you know room a lot, especially you know because of co uh, COVID. I'm in my room a lot, and you know I tend to you know come up with random ideas, and sometimes you know I just don't have the people in my house. Um, to kind of execute that idea correctly. So, you know, I'll just, you know, do do a little bit of research and, you know, figure out how to, you know, how to green screen, how to, um, you know, how to light a character or do an interview. And, um, you know, I'll just be at home and I'll make clones of myself. You know, I'll just duplicate myself and, you know, make a twin, somebody I can actually talk to uh, when I'm, you know, when I'm in, uh, when I'm alone. And um, sometimes I'll just, you know, I'll shoot a couple of short films while I'm at the gym or something like that, you know? I'll, uh, like, hey, can, you, um, can I shoot this with you or something like that? And, um, you know, yeah. I always try to um, 
try to entertain people because it's like, you know, everybody's unique, right? So I'm unique, you know, you're unique, all that. And I want to be able to kind of express, um, you know, how I feel. Um, and I want to, you know, I want to be able to entertain people, you know, since, you know, we're home and quarantine like that. We're, um, I just want to be able to entertain people and, you know, bring, I guess bring a new light or something like that, you know? So, so why is music important for media? Well, we, you know, when you shoot, you know, when you have a movie, right? You don't want to have a sad moment where somebody's crying and then have some hype music playing in the background. Now, some people do that just because, you know, it's, it's more of a comedy. It's more of a comedy movie. But like, if you're talking about something serious, then you don't want to have, you know, th this hype music. You don't want to have the baby playing while somebody's crying, right? Uh, I mean, you, you, you kind of get what I'm saying. Um, so you want to be able to match the mood of some, you know, somebody, somebody's like how they feel at that moment. Um, you know, altar call. You don't want to, you don't want to be playing some trap music while Pastor Chandler is up here trying to make sure everybody's coming, you know, people who need to come to the altar need to come. So this is a, this is a new generation. This is, you know, this is generation Z. So we have, to, you know, I have to, you know, I'm born in this time. So I have, you know, I'm keeping up with everything, but I do, you know, I do it because it's, it's just another way to kind of communicate sometimes. Um, we, you know, social media, plat, you know, these different platforms that, you know, kind of, you know, show our social lives. What if I can use that in a way to where I can, um, I can show my personality and um, give, give off what I just said before, a new light to, you know, to the world. I mean, I'm one in what, 8 billion people. So why don't I show, you know, myself to the world? Yo, Trevor, that was fire, bro. That was awesome. That was super dope. That's super unique, bro. Yes. Like, we never seen nothing like that before. Talk bro. about creative. That's super creative, bro. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. So, we're going to go into one of the most important things, which is giving. So, I got a scripture for y'all just to kind of bring it home for you. So, Galatians 6 and 9. And let us not grow weary of doing good, for in due season we will reap if you do not give up. So basically, y'all, that's just saying, if you give, you're gonna reap what you sow. Mm -hmm. It's pretty plain and simple. So, I mean, why not just give? Because God gonna give it right back to you and some. So like, just go ahead and give it to him. You know what I'm saying? Don't be like holding on to it because like, it's not really worth it to hold on to it. Just kind of like, be like, yeah, bro, I front you that. And then he gonna give it right back to you. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. Yeah. Also, y'all, there's instructions on the screen for you all to give. You can text to give. Um, you can go to Secure Give um, to give. That's an app that you can download securely to give your funds. Um, we are already giving. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So go ahead. Whether that's, you know, giving your tithes, which is what? It's 10%. 10% of sound, everything that sound comes pretty, in. Sound pretty good yeah. to me. Good deal to me. Good you know deal. I mean? Um, and then, but that's an offering, which is anything on top of that. Um, so yeah, go ahead and text to give or hit secure give and let the money come in. Now I'm for nobody. That was a really cool session by Trevor. Thanks, man. You really cool. We really appreciated that. And I really hope y'all got something from that. Uh, the next one we have is by Taya. And she's going to tell you how to be a athlete and how she goes through her days of being a student athlete you know how she builds her <laughs> in the basketball courts you know i'll be scared around there you know what i'm saying anywho um, so yeah you're gonna learn a little bit about that from taya so what's up y'all it's taya i am taya anderson i attend right direction i play three sports um i attend dutch fork high school um, I play track, oh, I, I throw uh, shot put and disc. I play basketball and I also play volleyball. Um, this is my first year throwing shot and disc. Um, I've been playing volleyball for six years and this is my fifth year playing basketball. It hasn't been easy, but that's why I'm here today to tell you about life as a Christian student athlete and how I cope or deal with things that may, or challenges that may come my way as a Christian student athlete. 
Um, the first thing I have is my priorities. I had to always make sure my priorities are straight, um, putting God first no matter what. Um, one of my biggest priorities was making sure my prayer life was great. You know, not trying to um, just tip and tap with God, not trying to just put him in every now and then, you know, oh, I got a scripture, I know this, but make sure I was uh, had a great relationship with him, talking to him every day. Um, my biggest thing was praying before games, praying before school, even text, you know, write a little note to yourself, but just pray to that way. I um, just felt like somebody was there with me. Um, another thing would be staying focused. Um, stay focused in, on your schoolwork, stay focused in your sports, not letting things drift you off. And, um, you know, just remember why you're doing what you're doing, why you have that talent, um, letting God use you, which another reason will keep you focused, you know, re remembering why God gave you this talent, why he is keeping you um, able, why he's keeping you from injuries, why he's keeping you from mental problems, you know, just staying focused. Um, another thing would be my friends. During sports and during school year, I had to watch out who I hung out with. You know, um, things may be like, oh, well, this group of friends going this way, this group of friends going this way. But you have to stay focused and remember that, oh, I can't hang out with so-and-so this week. I have to hang out with my teammates because they are the ones that's going to influence me better. And knowing that yourself is what goes along with your prayer life and staying focused, you, you know, hear from God like that's not the right group, you know. Stay with this group, you know, and it may be hard, but staying focused is and listening to him will help you. Um, um, another thing is you were born for a time like this. And I keep that quote going all the time. You were born for a time like this. You know, you might lose a game. You might get injured, but it's always a reason for that. You were born for such a time like this. Um, remembering the purpose you have, remembering why you were um, why you were given such a great talent, why why God used you, you know, why he gave you those challenges. You were born for a time like this. So remembering your purpose in everything that you do. Um, if you play multiple sports, make sure your mental health is good. You know, not try to do everything at once, not try to cram and everything, space different things out. And even if two sports are going on at once, focus, um, you know, take time. You know, you might have to take a day off or two, but just take time. Um, keeping God first in all events. Um, I had to remember like through COVID, um, I went through, uh, I wouldn't say a depression, but a hard time where I felt like I wasn't good enough to finish playing sports because I thought my seasons were over. You know, I've seen other people already had offers in my grade and I'm in the 10th grade and I'm like, well, dang, you know, COVID's here. I'm not going to be able to do anything anymore. But just praying to God and keeping yourself, you know, here, you know, not letting anything go out. So I had to change my mindset. I had to start getting up in the morning and going out in the garage and doing what I had to do to keep myself motivated, keep myself remembering the purpose that I have. And now we're back. We had a season. Another situation that we had to face this year, um, many teams may have had to go through this, but I know my team personally, we went through um, a phase where somebody caught COVID and our team was literally shut down. We had nothing. To, we didn't have no teammates. We didn't have we had six people. You know, you have to have at least seven to play. We had six people and we didn't know what we were going to do. So we had to cancel our JV season and bring everyone together. Um, many of you thinking like y'all had to bring JV up for varsity. Yes, I know. But it worked out in our favor. Um, we lost um, we lost some of our seniors. But what we also uh, lost was the negativity. We lost attitude and coming together with that. Our coach told us we were born for a time like this. So things had to change. We started praying before games. We started praying before practices. You know, we had different scriptures every day and we had faith. That was the biggest thing. We had faith. And my coach used to say everything every day. Faith is, if you have faith the size of mustard seed, mustard seed, things can go beyond what you think of. And because we had faith, we ended up going to the playoffs. Yes, yes, yes. Playoffs for the first time as a sophomore. I went to the playoffs with my teammates. And um, just like that in the Bible, it states how Esther had to be resilient and she had to bring her people together and pray because she had to make a big decision. And she made one of the best decisions she could have ever made. And now I'm in AAU season and we're kicking off a great season, you know, so just staying focused and remembering the purpose you have. And, you know, with that being said, I'm going to pray for you all. And um, I just want to say bow your heads. Um, dear Lord, I thank you for all the students that were here today that tuned in and were able to watch this sermon, Lord God, or this message. I ask that you give them the strength and the energy 
and the, to stay focused in their sports, Lord God. No, do not let anything distract them, Lord God. I pray for their mental health, Lord God. I ask that you give them the right things to hear, the right things to say, Lord God. Keep their mind clear to only positive things. I ask that you flush out the negative things to keep them focused throughout the school year, Lord God. And even, even athletes who may feel that their time is up, Lord God, you give them a boost of energy, Lord God, to keep going, Lord God. Never give up on their stuff, Lord God. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Talk about talent. That's awesome. Yeah, that's fine. Multi-sport athlete. And then yes, you have sir. time to do all the extra stuff and yeah. still be a student leader. That's fire. Y'all, that's dedication. That's time management. You heard what she had to say. Sometimes that was our I very own. Sometimes Sometimes I can't even manage my own time. Yeah. Day, you know what I'm saying? So that's that's real impressive. Yes. Real. Mm -hmm. nope. Yep. So y'all, we hope y'all enjoyed day one of day Big Jesus Experience. Um, and we don't want to let this time go by without no, doing the absolutely most important thing um, to see if anyone is needing to join the family of God. Um, so if that's you, you can post in the comments. We have um, prayer counselors there mm -hmm. to reach out to you if you want that to happen. Um, and then we're going to just go ahead and lead you in a quick prayer. Yeah. Yep. Um, so you can repeat after us, Father God. Father God. Thank you. Thank you. For sending your son. For sending your son. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. To die on the cross. Die on the cross. For me. For me. For if not anyone else. For not anyone you else. You sent him for me. You sent him for me. So I thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. That he rose again. He rose on again. On the third day. On the third with day. With all power. With all power. And I accept him in my heart. And I accept him in my heart. As my Lord and Savior. As my Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. It's just as simple as you said that. That's as simple as the invitation was received to join the family. So we are excited. Yeah, we're excited. Bam for y'all joining the family of God. There's information in the comments. Um, I believe there's a number you can text, um, easy, epic, um, to get more information. Yeah, so go ahead and do that to get the steps started to start your journey um, walking with God. So, like I said, see y'all on day two.